Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay with our child of Adam Ghoul. Here we are looking off from Acadia, which is just such a beautiful place. I love it up here. It's, it's very cool with the fog condensers, keeping it clean. There aren't any bad guys, really. There's a synth refugee who's just strolling around who I've never seen before. Now, before we get off onto our fun times, look at our, like, little neck guard that we have. This is the synth chest piece, the one that doesn't have quite as hard damage resistance, which makes sense because about half of it is basically missing compared to what we were wearing before. It's incredibly high with the agility, intelligence, and endurance. We're losing seven damage resistance, but we're gaining an agility, an intelligence, and endurance point, and it's, we're losing seven ballistic damage resistance but we are gaining some energy resistance and it's still not fully leveled up and on top of that the extra things that it's giving us because charisma we don't really need but endurance totally and agility absolutely also another thing as i was coming out here i noticed this so sounds like i'm gonna be the next high confessor great great whoa he's already asked you hey adam demands it that, uh, that was good, right? Are you going to choose Cole? Has that already been decided? Yeah, Cole is going to be the new High Confessor. I mean, I really hope he gets to keep some of his memories, though, because I think that would be really cool to do. Now, today, we are going to head over to the west of the island, and we have the Recover Martin's Holotapes here, as well as the Chum the Water and Dropping Meat in it. So, I think that makes a lot of sense. We have a... I don't recall if any of these locations actually had beds here, but we know this one does. So, if we come over this way, which potentially we could actually stop off at the Nucleus for a save and some stuff, I might do that. I might actually have ourselves go in this direction. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Oh, uh, man, this is crazy to think about what we're doing with the island, about how we'll replace Tectus with somebody who's just going to be nicer in general to Far Harbor. I mean, we already have somebody who's nicer to the Children of Adam and to the Synths, which is the new fake Captain Avery, who we had that little accidental discovery that, in fact, she was, uh, didn't know she was a Synth. Alright, we're doing some good climbing right now. This is a really interesting view from up here. I feel like that's water, so that must be more land, and it just hasn't spawned in yet. Because, you know, the fog's in the way. Let's see, what is this? I, no, wait, what? Oh, interesting. We just found a whole new place that we haven't landed into yet. Where is this? All right, so there's the Pinecrest Cavern, which has beds and the like. Hold on, let's see what this place is. It's got a dude. A second dude. Just regular trappers. Easy single shots, not even needing a headshot. Just a quick little straight to the chest. Come on, peek your head out. There you go. Oh, I missed. And we're in danger. Okay. So now, if there are any more, they will be showing up. Glad he took some cover. Let's just start getting closer to him. Kill the trapper. Big ol' shooty shoots. Whoa! I love shooting their heads off of their bodies. Or more so their bodies from underneath their heads. Give that a critical. Critical strike and scrounging trapper. Oh, he's got this sweet hood again. I wonder if that backpack works like the Skyrim mod that added backpacks so that you could have higher carry weights. Should be pretty sick if so. Another scrounging trapper way down there. No, I'm not gonna use my Thorita. We're just not getting enough ammunition for it. There we go. Still got guys coming. Dude, having the bull front on this gun. I forgot what that muzzle, the bull muzzle on the gun. It looks really cool. I'm happy to have it. Come on, dude, you're gonna... No, you're just gonna keep hopping back and forth? Alright, well then I'm just gonna hang out out here. Ignore you. I'm just having a good time with that. I don't need you. I'm happy. Also, we'll probably be able to pick up some stim packs and other useful items up here. Ooh. Like, fragmentation... Oh, wow. That's some useful stuff. Oh, hells yeah. Taking that. I like how we... I mean, I guess in-game time. Actually, this is how it works when you do that little trick. So, the in-game time doesn't actually change, but the experience for your character is like it magically an hour passes for you, but nothing else passes in the world around you. God, this hood is so cool. 
I was watching a guy's uh, stuff today, who and he wore the hood, and he also had, ooh, that hurt. He wore the hood, and he was also uh, wearing the Child of Adam armor underneath it, and so it's this really cool justic position of like cloth hood that looks sick and like he's a sneaky dude, plus the heavy armor that belongs to these recon marine things. And this guy was really wearing nothing, but he did have some cool weapons and the like. Also, they have a radio and a lot of beds. That's nice. Great place for saving. Ooh, a chest. You know, I was thinking about the recon marine armor that's fully leveled up, and we were talking about the big sale cap collector. What happens, though, if I start doing fortune finder, too? Do you think that we'll find so many... A chance of enemies exploding in a shower of caps when you kill them? Like, potentially, maybe that... Plus, the cap collector is what really makes you become super duper rich. Because I've never done any cap collector stuff. And so I think that would be a fun addition when... Oh, you just... Oh, oh no! Child of Adam! I think that'll be a fun addition once we get to a point where... We feel like we're combat ready enough. That we can just start killing people using... Badass. Or I guess just buying things. Not killing. We are killing. Because we're killing, we can take the money perks. That's what I meant to say. All right, I'm pushing straight into the water now. Since we had a save so recently, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, where we don't necessarily have to go over to the nucleus to drop a save. I don't have anything I want to sell yet either. Plus, there isn't really anything I want to grab. Kind of enjoying just swimming through the water and checking out this. This just underground trees and everything. It means that the water probably grew, like showed up around it. It's really nice that we can just kind of go straight across. Having a ghoul character is nice for that. Which, oh man, it was being talked to me about making a Gen 2 synth character. And I didn't want to get too into it talking about it right now. But as I was thinking about it, I got more and more excited. So I want to share some of the ideas with it. Uh, if we do a survival character, I mean, stim packs would technically work even on Gen 2 synths. Because they work on Nick Valentine. When he falls down, he needs to be to come back up. But I don't know if any radiation affects you or if food necessarily works because you're a synth you don't need food and ghouls you know radiation isn't supposed to affect but it kind of affects this character whenever we eat so i'm really curious to see what the experiments show me what happens with a character who is a gen 2 synth as their race according to the developer codes okay you you do want to fight me i was really trying to avoid you all right you leave me no choice yeah that hurts doesn't it doesn't it? Makes you think about what you did, doesn't it? Also, I'm gonna need your meat if we're gonna do this. Oh, that's a hundred. See ya! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I'm gonna need the meat of um, a couple animals if I'm gonna chum the water for the Mirelurk or the fog crawler attack. This looks familiar. Have we been here before? I don't think so because there's ghouls and ghouls are who we kill, so it makes perfect sense to take them out. Hello, legendary ghoul reaver. I'll take that. Thank you. Get a good headshot. Critical hit. Should be crouched down. I keep forgetting to crouch. Should be crouched. Fogul, we'll get you in a second. We can do you with a normal 10 millimeter shot once I get close enough. Now where is the ghoulie friend? Ghoulie friend, you were a legendary. Ghoulie. Holy crap! <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know if I've ever had a reaction that strong and that visceral. Whoo! Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my god. Uh, so I'm a little bit lower energy until that moment. That was pure energy now. Whoo, I feel good. Alright. Um, Jesus Christ. So, uh, I was a little bit lower energy uh, earlier. Damn it. I'm trying to talk here, okay? God. Fucking damn it. That scared the shit out of me. Whoo! Oh, my headphones. No, 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 no! Okay, okay, one sec, one sec, okay. There we go. God, I haven't even had a chance to try Gun Fu yet. I know we even have it, and I just haven't gotten to it yet. Oh, come on! I was trying to save Vats, and I end up losing ammunition. And what happened to the dude here who was a legendary? Legendary ghoul! Who I shot the head of. Where did you go? Is that you? Is that, is that? No, it's not you. Anyway, I was a little less, like, jumpity and up because I was feeling a little sick today. And it was, you know, it happens, and I was like, ah, oh, I can still film. Also, I'm doing the logs right now. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Yeah! Ultimate log runner. 
All right, uh, what was I doing? Looking for the ghouls that had a legendary on him. You know what, maybe I uh, thought he was in a different spot than he actually was. No, that's, that's a reaver again. So I thought he was underneath the dock. I don't see anything as I'm peeking under there. Anyway, felt sick and then got terrified. And getting terrified tend to uh, shoot the adrenaline through me and now I feel a lot more energized. So, did he go out to sea? Did he float somewhere? <sighs> hmm. Maybe it was a little farther over? So I really care about finding this ghoul because if we can get some legendary pistol variant, like that's the 10 millimeter or that's doing the revolver, I would be so excited. I, uh, I was watching someone else's build the other day and as they were playing, they found an incendiary 10 millimeter pistol. And I was just like, oh my God, that would be so cool. A pistol that lights people on fire as you're shooting it. I mean, just immediately sounded so much fun. You know, I'm just listening to the water lapping right now. It's actually kind of nice. When there's not ghouls scaring the shit out of me, it's actually pretty fun. Alright, so I tried to pick up a ghoul to see if he would float. Uh, but it was too heavy to carry. So it's possible that ghouls are not necessarily... Oh, this one isn't. So, it's possible that reavers are heavier. So what does he do? Goes in that direction? And then he just sort of stays there. Alright, well that's actually pretty obvious. So if he was in the water, I feel like we'd be able to tell. Welcome everybody to Kublai Khan Ghoul Hunter. It's similar to deep sea fishing and also noodling where you stick your toe into the water and you catch a giant fish. But instead of a giant fish, you catch radiated humans. And uh, they actually are pretty fun to eat. They're good buddies. You have to level up in order to do it. And some of them have really cool weaponry or armor called legendary. It's super fun. Unfortunately, if you can't find them, they sink into oblivion. You get really disappointed and then you get go. Oh, it's a bummer. All right, I'm just going to have to consider that a loss and then we didn't get them. All right, well, continuing on, maybe we'll find a bed because, I mean, we're going to be near Martin's thing soon. And also, I want to make sure that I'm prepared to fight uh, some crazy stuff because he's at a fog crawler, which isn't going to be too bad because we've already fought one. So I already kind of know about them. But a Marler Queen? Oh, I hear more ghouls. A Marler Queen would be insane. Like, I'm not really looking forward to that. All right. So, apparently the way that Gunfu works is your second target in VAT receives 25% more damage from your gun. I'm not exactly sure how to test that, unfortunately. Um, I guess the best way we'd be able to see that is if I'm going up against multiple... Well, at least we got another Legendary. Is if I'm going up against multiple people and I start shooting at somebody who's the exact same as the other. Uh, shoot you. Let you mutate. That works. Oh, here we go. Let's go. I'll shoot you first and then I'll shoot you. Alright, and that's that's a good chunk. Now let's do this. Oh, did you see that? So if I start at him, he gets that little chunk. But if I go to his friend, who I can't go to right now because I'm, I guess, too focused on him punching me in the side right now. Uh, it actually did increase. Okay, so we could see the the change in Gunfu. I'm happy to see that. That was a sweet death with that backflip. Where is the other one? There was another one. And it wasn't that one. It was uh, this one? This one, yeah. I, I guess I'll just shoot you dead then. So, okay, we can see the effect of Gunfu. So, but the idea is that you spread your shots around rather than focusing all on one. So cool, so ridiculous. He did have a missile though, which means that if we're gonna go up against something like uh, a Marler Queen, perhaps we can save a critical and use it on the Marler Queen and have her fight all the other Marlurks that could be showing up. Potentially, we will have that as an effective way to survive. Or as I'm unlocking the door, I hear a which is not actually a cat. It is, um, you just go ahead and fall down. It's not actually a cat, it was a ghoul. Hey, oh, anybody else? No, I guess I'll just keep shooting you then. Shoot you again. Man, we have such high agility right now. I love it. It is, ow, it is really nice. Oh, we have a glowing one. Ooh, Foggle, I'll shoot you. And Reaver, 
There we go. So you will increase the amount of damage I do per shot or just for that first secondary shot. I'm not... Don't fall through the ground. I'm not quite sure. Ooh, we're really hurt. How about a hermit crab? Sounds like a good idea. Pop up our endurance too. Ooh, wonder glue. Holy mother of... Your face is in front of mine. Hi. Critical hit, I guess. God. Terrifying me. All right, so if we keep hitting him in the head, which we missed, because clearly he's just too difficult to shoot from here. Okay, we're gonna go for the... I really wish that the way that Gunfu worked was that you could shoot at arms as well as like, so every time you switch like arms or legs or whatever, it also gives you the extra bonus. That would be really funny where you're just like shooting around in this general star circle. As I say it out loud, I could see how it would be kind of cheap in a way because then you just get like a huge bonus of attack on pretty much every person that you're fighting against. But at least for uh, my brain, it sounds really fun. Maybe it would only work like limb damage kind of thing, where it increases the limb damage, but it doesn't actually increase anything else. Harvester. Chance to stagger on hit. That's really cool, but we do not use weapons like that. Oh, that's a bummer. It's still no Betty Poo. I mean, this isn't exactly a Betty Poo kind of location. Still, I feel like it would... Maybe a sleeping bag? I, actually, if I was a, like, a trapper, I would yes. not sleep in a place with a lot of ghouls. Oh. You know, we don't really need to collect milk bottles anymore, which is super fun to collect right now because I can throw balls at them. But, uh, oh my god, that's what I should have been just doing. Damn it. I could have just been playing uh, little carnival games. The toss challenge. Darn it. Oh, wait, is this a... Uh, oh, it is. Oh, this is kind of cool. Oh, they're all locked, too. Waffles. Lobster roll. Oh, gotcha. Was this uh, just like a fun place to hang out or was this because a lot of people worked here? And so they provided a lot of potential food. It's kind of like, kind of like Microsoft Campus. If you've ever seen the campus for Microsoft, it has a, it's basically like, it's a mall. It's, you go to Microsoft and you walk around and there's places to get your hair cut. There are like targets on it. Like literal, like go to Target, Target, buy some stuff. There are grocery stores. It's designed around the idea that they want you to, you know, hello Vim. <laughs> this Vim is just in the machine. <laughs> Anyway, it's designed around the idea of trying to keep people there, you know, getting everything that they need done so they don't necessarily need to go to other places. Nice. Some people have claimed that it's to make sure that you never ever leave the office because everything you need is right there. I like to imagine that it's more of just trying to provide a service to their employees rather than we own you kind of thing. All right, well, we got this building over here. Hello, this building. Are you Lumberjack F Festival? Fall 2007. Oh, okay. Yeah, this was a festival. Still no beds, though. Just uh, pretty vacant on that side of things. All right, we're actually really close to recovering Martin's holotapes. And Dima described it as a place for Martin to relax, which has got to mean that it has a bed, right? Though I kind of expect to find Martin there, is the way that he described it. He's like, it's a place where he needs to hide if needed. And I mean, he's claiming that he's actually dead, but he might, he might be alive somewhere. I would love to see if we could find Martin. That would be such a cool, interesting thing. Like, but what if they like, you find him in the Commonwealth? So he's in fact like super far away. And then so there's like no way he's coming back to Far Harbor. Wait, is it under here? Oh, it's hidden. Holy crap. Anybody else? No, nobody else. Yeah, I'm just getting really spooked recently. I'm not exactly sure what is the spookiness. But I think I'm just getting really into the game, is the problem. Headshot? Great. Body shot? Great. You know, we're doing... I was just thinking of maybe actually, because the damage just jumped up. I wonder if maybe damage... Well, now I have my selection of missiles that I want to use. Alright. And... Wow, there's a lot of beds here. Well, let's drop the save real quick. Cool. And uh, let's start listening to some of these. I have to say, I'm surprised. I had assumed you and your followers would be more adamantly hunting for the sub's launch key. I hope we haven't disappointed you too greatly. I'd uh, hate to anger our landlord. I believe I'll survive. But am I mistaken? Does your god not require you die in a nuclear blast? Is that not why you've taken up in the nucleus? 
It's not a transaction, Dima. Adam requires nothing of us. He has granted us a chance to become something greater. Interesting. To divide our weak mortal frames and bring life to millions of new worlds. We are simply accepting the opportunity his glow presents, whatever form it may take. See why Tectus didn't so like him. So if you found the launch key, you wouldn't use it? That I don't know. Are you afraid? I'd be mad to say I wasn't, but we've made a home for ourselves here. Friends, a family, a place you belong. Exactly. The nucleus. It is a blessing of the truest order. It would be hard to leave such a gift, even if it is for another. But regardless, the key is lost. So, until Adam sees fit to return it, I dare say you're stuck with us. I believe I'll survive. That's fascinating. So, according to Martin, Adam does not require anything from its followers. An execution. Thank you for coming so quickly. I heard about the execution. I can't believe they killed your missionary, Martin. I'm sorry. Brother Andrews, a good soul. The fault is mine. If I'd realized things had become so tense in Far Harbor, I would have never let him leave. They blame us for the fog overrunning the town, Dima. And now, the children. It's Tectus. He won't listen. He wants to prepare for war. Do you believe the others will follow him? Time was. I would have laughed at such a notion, but now... Andrews was beloved by many. It's brought out the worst in them. Fury, hate. It was tolerable when it was just Tectus. Dima, something must be done. Exile? Exodus. I think it's time you and I convinced the citizens of Far Harbor to leave. You can't be serious. You know as well as I, they're not meant for this place. The fog grows thicker every year. How long before the condensers are finally overwhelmed? It's not banishment, Dima. It's mercy. Interesting. I'm sorry, Martin. But no, they have as much right to be here as you do. Right? This place is trying to kill them. And now my people are at my throat because of the mess you created by allowing them to stay. And if you can't recognize that, then I suppose there's no reason for you to be here. I think you should go. Oof. Martin, please. This can be solved in other ways. Get out! Very well. We'll talk again when you come to your senses. Wow. Fascinating. So, Martin, his belief of how Adam worked was that he just gave an opportunity to people. Just an extra cool opportunity. And then Tectus wanted to become warlike. Bring people to Adam. Say, Adam you know, is trying to claim this place, it's what he wants. And then Martin was just like, look, if we tell them to leave, it's good for them. The I like, the fog condensers won't work forever. And Dima believes he can find a way to do this. Oh, I re so, he, another Perfect. mother icon? Really? So now we have two mother icons. Now what's Sister Gwyneth's visit? Last night. Spent another night thinking as we discussed, but that she cannot unsee what she believes to be the truth, that Anna Adam cannot be real. We talked for the better part of two hours, discussing back and forth, a reminder of the gift of the item, Adam's blessing. Seen by her brothers and sisters of the family that Adam has granted her that seemed to calm her, and finally she returned to bed. But now dawn has come, and her question still lingers. And I'm left with my question, is perhaps going to wiser than she knows? Martin was losing his belief in Adam, too. Interesting. 
And that was when Gwyneth ran off, and that's why Martin was like, no, we shouldn't kill her, because he's like, I might actually agree with her. Out of above, I've lost them. Tecta screams for blood and children cheer, I beg for his civility, and they whisper traitor behind my back, and I'm left to wonder, I know, the back of my mind I know, waning faith is an untended fire, failed to care for it, and it cannot be rekindled. Thus, here I sit thinking on embers, trying to summon the courage to do what I know I've put off for too long. So I shall step out that door, and when I do, my life begins anew. But for the first time, O oh Radiant One, its path is out of your hands. He lost his faith in Adam as well. Fascinating. That is just awesome. And what's really nice is that they have included a bed very close to where we're going to chum the waters. So we can have uh, the fog crawler or the Myrler Queen come out and be relatively, I mean, not safe, but like, you know, more likely to survive. Plus, we have the opportunity to enrage the Myrler Queen, which is something that I'm pretty glad about because this is going to be very difficult, I'm imagining. Hopefully, it's just a fog crawler, but I suspect that it's going to be more than just a fog crawler. And I don't mean like, oh, it's going to be a queen for sure, but I mean like, it might be a lot of other crazy creatures attacking us. So anyway, dudes, I think I'm going to end it here. Wow. We've learned... So this is pretty cool because from the point of view of our character, who is a child of Adam himself, you could consider that the only people they've ever met who really talk about Adam is Tectus and Martin, right? And Tectus was talking about war and fighting and, you know, like, the children of Adam were trying to defend themselves and then they're, so they're trying to strike back. Then Martin was like, no, Adam doesn't require anything of anyone. He just gives you the opportunity to explode into a million worlds. And then the girl who, uh, you know, or Gwyneth was like, I am, believe in nothingness. And Martin was there discovering and realizing that he actually felt that Adam didn't exist anymore. Which is fascinating because as a character's growth, a development of our child of Adam, it leads the character into a position of, do they keep their faith? Because what they have seen as Adam, in the beginning, our character didn't really know what Adam was. Just that there were ghouls and that he had had the ability to keep his mind, you know, as a pre-war ghoul. And begun to consider the Adam radiation as a god, you know, that gives life to some and cr makes others crazy. And other people were simply untouched by it. And then... So it became more like a force, like the force. And now we're in this position where is this character, like, are they going to look at the children of Adam and see them as like this blasphemous group? Where, I mean, some of them are good, where it's like it, good and evil is unrelated to Adam. He simply is, or she is. But there is a mother of the father. Ooh, it's just so interesting. I, I don't know. I feel like, so I'm an agnostic. So when I hear stuff about someone going, Oh, I don't really believe anymore. I'm like, yeah, that's naturally where I would head to if I was in that position. But I don't know who our ghoul is necessarily. But I can kind of feel like since we built our ghoul on kindness and good things, that them trying to maintain kindness and good things could drive them away from believing in Adam as a creator or a, a being kind of thing. So we'll see. I'm excited to find out. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. And of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dude, see you later. Bye.